Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing well. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. So we are kicking off this week with a new recipe that I tried out. Um, it is a cheesy ground beef and potato casserole. So I just sliced up some potatoes and I added some ground beef, cheese, cream of mushroom, and milk, and I baked it. And we are also having some green beans. I had some canned green beans, and then I also added some pre-cooked um, sliced bacon that I diced up and added in. So this is what we are having. I thought about making some bread, but I just did not feel like it. And then for dessert in my pantry, I had this Krusty's Meyer lemon, Meyer lemon um, pound cake mix, and I wanted to use it, so here it is. And um, here is what it looks like on the inside. Mine is a little bit flatter because I was supposed to use an eight inch pan. I used a nine inch pan, so it's a little bit flatter um, than it should be. But um, Howard really likes it a lot. It's a very moist cake, and I'm not into really dense and moist cakes. It does have a good flavor. It has a wonderful lemon flavor. Howard really likes it a lot. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are using up some items from our freezer. In my freezer, I had this ground chicken that I picked up from Walmart a while ago, and it is sweet Thai style, and it has garlic, shallots, soy sauce, ginger, and some other seasonings in there. I remember when I picked this up, they also had an Italian chicken too. I, I just grabbed this one, of course, so we're having that, and I am serving it over some jasmine rice. And then for a side in our freezer, we had this pork lumpia, these spring rolls that I picked up from Kroger. We tried these before and we weren't crazy about them, but you know, just trying to use what we have. So we are having these, you just bake them in the oven at 400 for about 10 to 12 minutes. So Howard and I, we did try this chicken. Neither one of us are super crazy about it. We both love Thai food. This does not taste Thai to us at all. It tastes like it has curry in it, even though I did not see curry in the ingredients. It tastes more like Indian food than it does Thai food. Um, so we're gonna eat it, of course, but it's not our favorite, and I definitely will not be repurchasing this. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having one of our favorite frozen pizzas. It is this DiGiorno pan pizza cheesy garlic and we've never tried this flavor before um, but it comes with mozzarella parmesan asiago and, and romano cheeses it has a creamy garlic sauce so here it is so oh and here is the pan that it comes with so it comes with its own uh, pan pizza uh, its own pan excuse me not pan pizza there it is and this is what it looks like. So you bake it in your oven at 400, and then once it comes out, you remove it from the pan, and then you just put it on a cookie sheet so that you can cut it. And here are the edges of the pizza. Kind of reminds you of Pizza Hut's pan pizza. Um, and then here is the bottom. So it gets all golden brown on the bottom. And so since this does not have a marinara sauce with it or a red sauce, I am going to um, warm up some pizza sauce, and I'm probably gonna eat this more like cheesy breadsticks. So Howard, I think, is gonna eat his as a pizza, so I'll slice his, and then mine, I'm just gonna cut them long ways and just eat them as breadsticks. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having pizza pot pie, and this is so good. I recorded a video of this recipe, so be on the lookout for that, but I cut it open so you guys could see what it looks like. So pizza pot pie is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so let me show you what we are having for dinner tonight. We are having restaurant food for the first time since this whole pandemic started, and we are having some Thai food. This is a, um, it's a Thai herb chicken, I think is the name of it, and I've had it before, it's really good. It's crispy chicken with a bunch of herbs, and it comes with the um, sauce, so this is actually an appetizer. And then we got some spring rolls, and then we got some pot stickers, 
and I got some shrimp fried rice. You can see the shrimp right over there. Fried rice. Howard got red curry, and it came in a container like this, so here it is. And then in that little container is the steamed white rice. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. Thai food, I'm so excited. And we will see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having something from our freezer. I am using this Adele's Teriyaki and Pineapple Chicken Meatballs. I actually have a few more packages in my freezer that I need to use up too. Um, so we are having that and I just pan fried them in a little bit of oil and Howard and I tasted it. And um, I'm not a big um, like pineapple person or I usually don't like my savory food sweet, but these do not taste sweet at all. So, I mean, just a hint of sweetness. So they're actually pretty good. And then I just made my favorite green onion and mushroom fried rice and I just saute my mushrooms and then I add in jasmine rice that I um, cooked the day before and just left in the refrigerator so that it would firm up. I have green onions in there, sesame oil, and some seasonings. And then I also stir fried some fresh broccoli as well. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard made a huge crock pot full of soup. He is a big soup person. And I have mentioned before that Howard is from Jamaica. And one of the things that his mom used to make growing up for him was pumpkin soup. And it's not the pumpkin soup that you and I think of. Um, the pumpkin actually looks like this green pumpkin here on the package. Um, and so he used this seasoning, um, this packet of um, soup mix, excuse me, plus some other seasoning. He used a ham bone that we had in the freezer. He used a couple of cans of butter beans. Um, there's some potato in there um, and some other stuff in there. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.